Hello, my name is Vidya and this is a mindful hip opening sequence. It's just to help you get a little more deeply into the hip joint, finding a little more flexibility. So we can work towards hip opening poses like pigeon and half lotus. It would be good to have a folded blanket or towel available to use during the practice. And we're going to begin in a supine position. So, laying down in Shavasana to begin with. Fold the right knee into the chest and interlace the fingers on the right shin. And now activate the left leg. So flex the foot, lift the kneecap and engage the quadriceps with your left leg also. Inhale deeply. Exhale, round up, engaging the abdominal muscles, bringing the chin towards your knee. Inhale, slowly release your back down to the floor. Press down now on the left hip and open the right leg out to the side in a half frog position. And place your right hand mid-thigh and press down on the hands so that you begin to open the hips, externally rotating the right hip joint. Keep both feet flexed and active and gently press down, prizing the hip open. Slowly easing out of this posture and taking half happy baby. The heel should ideally be above your right knee. If you have any difficulty reaching the foot, you can place a strap around the ball of your foot and just hold on to the strap instead. Now draw the leg across the chest. And you can use your hands to hug the leg in a little closer. Or if you have a little more flexibility, perhaps wrap your arms around your leg as you come into supine pigeon pose. And on the next exhale, Round up, drawing the chin towards your ankle. Inhale, slowly release the back to the floor. Bending the left knee now, place the right ankle above the left knee. Thread the right hand between the legs, interlace the fingers on the left shin to thread the needle pose. Flex both feet. As you exhale, draw left knee towards the chest. Use right elbow to press right thigh away. On the next exhale, round up, chin towards knee, engaging abdominal muscles, curling into a ball. Inhale, roll down. And releasing the interlace, bring the arms out to the side release and come into supine tarasana clasp the feet holding both feet in the hands as you exhale round up toes towards forehead inhale slowly release the back to the floor change the clasp of your hands so you're holding the inside edges of the feet and on the next inhale, straighten the left leg out to the side. Exhale, left heel to inner groin. Inhale, straighten the right leg. Exhale, return to center. Clasping both hands with the feet, begin to rock and roll a few times in supine tarasana and rock all the way up and find a comfortable seat. If you have difficulty sitting up straight, you might choose to sit on your blanket here. We're going to use a little PNF work here to help the muscles to lengthen. So place your right hand behind you and place your left hand on your left inner thigh and begin to press the leg into the hand, resisting the pressure down, imagining that you're going to bring the left knee to the midline. 
So press and resist with about 30 to 50% of your strength. Breathing deeply into the hip joint as you do so. Continue for a few more rounds of breath to resist, resist, and then release. And let the knee move in a little deeper. And then switch sides. So leaning back on the left hand, place right hand on right mid thigh. And begin to use the same technique, PNS, on the right side, pressing down into the thigh, simultaneously resisting, imagining that you're going to bring the right knee towards the midline. And slowly stop resisting, release the leg deeper, holding for a few breaths and then release and then sit up tall again inhale lengthen through the spine exhale press the knees down and paying attention to how much more open in the hips that helped you to become and now take the left leg and sweep it all the way behind you so you transition into pigeon pose if you'd like to modify a little bit more you can bring the heel close to the inner groin. Reaching around with the right arm, if available, bind with your right big toe. Now thread your left arm over to your right side. You might have to adjust the blanket in the right place so that you can rest your, the side of your head on the blanket and reaching as far the right side of the mat with your left hand as you can and allow yourself to completely rest in this posture again making it passive softening and very slowly begin to release the posture and place your blanket to one side if you'd like to take a vinyasa you can step back to plank Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Inhale, look between the hands, step or slope forwards and take a comfortable seat and roll down to the back, coming into Shavasana and preparing for the other side. And now fold the left knee into the chest and activate the right knee. Interlace the fingers on the left shin and on the next exhale, round up, chin towards knee. Inhale, release the back to the floor slowly. Place your right hand on your right hip and press down, anchoring it to the floor. And draw the left leg out to the left. Place the left hand mid thigh and gently prise the hips apart, breathing deeply into the hip joint. And slowly transition to half happy baby. Begin to draw the left knee a little closer to the earth. If you're unable to reach the foot, it's possible to use a strap and just hold the strap instead. Transitioning to supine pigeon. So you can just use your hands on drawing the leg a little closer to you. Or if you have more flexibility, you may want to wrap your arms around the leg. And perhaps lift the leg a little higher, draw it a little closer, but only do what is comfortable for you right now. On the next exhale, round up, chin towards ankle, engaging the abdominals. And as you inhale, slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. Bend the right knee now. Place the left ankle above the right knee, thread the left arm through between the legs, interlacing the fingers on the right shin. As you exhale, draw right knee a little closer and use left elbow to press left thigh a little further away from you. On the next exhale, round up, chin towards right knee. Inhale as you slowly roll back to the earth. Release the interlace, slowly transition into supine tarasana. 
On the next exhale, round up, forehead towards toes. Inhale, slowly release the back to the floor. Change the clasp so you're holding the insteps. Inhale, straighten left leg out to the left, drawing toes towards floor. Exhale, bring back to center. Inhale, straighten right leg. As you exhale, come back to inner glory. And then clasping the feet with your hands, begin to rock and roll on the spine. Rocking three times, massaging the spine on the floor, rock up to find Baddha Konasana. This time starting on the right side, lean back on the left hand, pressing down on the right thigh and imagining that you're going to bring the right knee to the midline as you press and resist with equal strength. Remember it's 30 to 50% of your strength. Deeply breathe as you're doing that. It's important to keep breathing into the muscles and then release the knee down now, Re relaxing for a moment. Deeper switch sides, so begin to press and resist on the other side now. Breathing deeply into the muscles that you're contracting. It's a little strenuous to do PNF, but it really has good, has good results. So just Release the knee down now, taking up a little more space. And then slowly release. Come to an upright position. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, press the knees down. And really notice if you've gained a little more flexibility now in the hip joint. This time, sweep the right leg back so that the left leg is in front, sweeping the right leg into pigeon. If you're more flexible, the leg can be forming a right angle on the mat with the shin parallel to the front edge of your mat. It's also fine if you're not as flexible in this posture to bring the heel in close to the inner groins. And also notice where your left sitting bone is right now. If it's in the air, feel free to place your folded blanket under the left sitting bone for support. So just adjust however is needed for you. And then begin to walk the hands forwards as far as you can comfortably. And once you've reached your maximum lengthening, begin to soften. Close your eyes and let go completely. Make this a passive pose. And then on the next inhale, Reach the left arm behind you. An option to bind with the left big toe if it's available. And if not, you can just place the hand on your back. You're going to move into a twist. So place the blanket right in front of you and walk the right hand out to the left. As you softly relax into a half bound lotus pigeon pose. You can hold this posture for as long as you would like. And then slowly unraveling to come out. can return to a supine position for Shavasana and just allow your whole body now to completely relax and let go, softening into the posture, breathing softly and just enjoying the sweetness of the moment.